this is the full video of commercial laundry bar soap making hi everyone you are welcome to our tutorial for today today i want to teach you how to prepare your chemical solution for commercial laundry soap the laundry soap recipe because of the added chemicals we don't need soap calculator for the laundry soap recipe but there is this formula that is very helpful i call it a and b and the other one is a or b the a and b a is for light solution y b is for soda ash solution so that's what i want to teach you today so the a the formula for the a is one unit caustic soda i remember this is our caustic soda this is our caustic soda so anything can serve as unit of your measurement one unit caustic soda plus three units water and b is one unit soda ash and this is my soda ash this is soda ash powder or chemical so one unit plus one over eight units sodium sulfate this is my sodium sulfate plus 1.5 units water for the caustic soda i use three units to dissolve my um, caustic soda while for soda ash and um, sodium sulfate solution i use three and a half liter water sorry three and a half units water because anything can serve as units of your measurement so what this thing mean is for a for instance if i have 250 gram caustic soda and that is what i have here this is 250 gram caustic soda the 250 gram is my one unit one unit 250 gram so if i want to prepare my light solution that is for a remember i say a is for caustic soda solution so if i want to prepare my light solution that means i will measure my 250 250 gram of <coughs> caustic soda excuse me <coughs> 250 gram of caustic soda and keep this is 250 gram of caustic soda my one unit and the next thing to do is to measure my water my water will be 750 you remember i need to measure it um three units of water for dissolving my one unit caustic soda and here my one unit is 250 so my water will be three times 250 and three times 250 is 750 so that is for my water that we use to dissolve my caustic soda for chemical solution preparation hope you understand it's not difficult so i want to measure my water 250 into three places it will give me uh, 750 for this unit i'm making use of anything can serve as unit of your measurement any number if you have caustic soda 500 gram the water that you use to dissolve it for chemical preparation chemical solution preparation is 500 times 3 500 times 3 if it's if your caustic soda is 125 gram the water that you use to dissolve your caustic soda is 125 times 3 so here my own is 250 the caustic soda i have is 250 for this chemical solution preparation so 250 times 3 will be the quantity of water and this is my water this is a very clean water okay sorry i have not introduced everything this is my funnel for pouring my solution inside my keg 
the remaining solution this is for the light solution and this is for soda ash solution this other thing this bucket here is for my soda ash solution while this one is for my caustic soda solution this chemical here is my sodium silicate and i will need it when i want to make the soap sodium silicate i need one over six unit that is remember my one unit here i'm using is 250 so 250 over six is the quantity i need for my silicate but that is when i'm making the soup proper but for preparation of chemical solution i don't need the silicate for now so let me keep it aside i want to prepare my light solution i want to measure my water this is 75 cl by 750 ml i want to pour it in my bucket pour water first before caustic soda please the next thing to do is to dissolve my 250 gram caustic soda in this bucket and that is what we call lye solution or caustic soda solution so the this thing is caustic soda mixed with water and it is what we call light solution light solution or caustic soda solution stir it to dissolve and keep it aside to cool to room temperature so leave it for at least one hour to two hours before production so that it must have cool to room temperature Be very careful with this solution please it is called light solution or caustic soda solution our light solution is cooling you can as well leave the light solution on the, the soda ash solution to cool for like one day two days three days it doesn't spoil but at least let it cool to room temperature so that's why i said at least one hour to two hours before production that is if you are um, dissolving it today and you still want to make the soap today if not you can dissolve it today and make your soap like in two days time or in tomorrow so the next thing to do now is to prepare our soda ash chemical solution remember what you are doing today we are learning how to prepare our chemical solution for laundry commercial laundry soap this type of recipe we don't use soap calculator because of the added chemicals that doesn't reflect on the soap calculator so we've um, prepared our light solution and it's cooling then want to prepare a soda ash solution so to prepare my soda ash solution the first thing to do is to measure your unit of me uh, your unit of measurement to measure it out so for instance i have soda ash 250 gram of soda ash this is my soda ash you measure it and keep the second thing is to measure your sodium sulfate and my sodium sulfate the quantity i need is one over eight units i remember my unit is 250 grams so 250 over 8 250 is one unit for me so one over eight is 250 over eight and 250 over eight here is 31.25 gram so i've measured it this is my sodium sulfate quantity that i need then the next thing is to measure out my water and the water quantity i need is 875 gram of water the formula we are using is um, one unit of soda ash one over eight units of sodium sulfate then 
3.5 units that is three and a half units of water so my three and a half units of water is my one unit times 3.5 that is 250 times 3.5 and i'm getting 875 gram of water that is the quantity i need to dissolve my soda ash so i want to measure my water now i've measured my sulfate and i've measured my soda ash so let me measure my water so this is my water quantity 875 the next thing to add is my soda ash i'll add it inside here and as i'm adding i'm stirring after that i'll add my sodium sulfate inside this same bucket and stir to dissolve and allow it to cool that's what i want to do now so in here is my soda ash and my sodium sulfate you remember so i want to cover this bucket and allow it to cool to room temperature for like one hour to two hours by that time it must have cool you can as well allow this mixture to stay for like a day or two days before you start your production is totally your choice the main thing is for it to dissolve and cool to room temperature so this mixture is what we call soda ash solution and the other one is this other one is our caustic soda solution or what we call lye solution so this is basically what you need or what is required of you to prepare your chemical solution when you say your chemical solution that is your soda ice solution and your light solution for your commercial laundry soup so when it has cooled the next thing is to go to the next formula that is a or b remember the first formula is a and b and the a there a is the light solution why the b is the so the ash solution then the next formula is a or b that is our our formulation method so it's either you choose four is to two is to one or you choose four is to two is to two you remember so the four is for your pko the pancane oil then the first two is for your light solution and the last two or last one is for your soda ash so go through your lesson guide everything is detailed there another thing is because we didn't use our soap calculator so we need a hydrometer go to your lesson guide to learn about hydrometer the uses sorry the the work of hydrometer we use it to read or test the chemical density and neutrality of our caustic soda and our soda ash solution so you also need to take your chemical uh, solution reading for soda ash this soda ash you need 1 to 50 let me bring it out and show you so for your this soda ash solution we need 1 to 50 can you see see 1 to 50 there that's what we need for this then for our caustic soda solution we need 1 to 75 my camera please 1 to 75 that is the next one just see uh -huh, see it. 1 to 75 that's what you need for the chemical neutrality of a chemical solution. So this is what we need for our chemical solution preparation. Thank you so much for watching. I am Betty. Hi everyone. You're welcome to our tutorials for today. Today I want to learn how to make a laundry bar soup the commercial type 
laundry bar soap the commercial type so i am betty and this particular um type of laundry soap is the one that we add some chemicals and these chemicals are not reflected in the soap calculator so we don't use the soap calculator for this recipe the first thing to do is to prepare your chemical solutions a and b i have a video on that then the next thing to do is to choose your formulation method is it a or is it b if it's a formulation method a is 4 is to 2 is to 1 the b is 4 is to 2 is to 2 so you have to check your for your lesson guide for the explanation the four the first number is for the pk oil the second number is for the light solution and the third number is for your soda ash solution then the next thing to do is to check with your hydrometer you check with your hydrometer the chemical reading so for your light solution for your light solution you need the chemical reading at 1275 then for your caustic soda solution the chemical reading should be uh, this thing don't fall the chemical reading should be 1250 so also refer to our lesson guide on how to do this with your hydrometer so this is our hydrometer this is our light solution we've prepared our light solution before now this is caustic soda mixed with water dissolved with water then this is our soda ash solution in here we have soda ash we have sodium sulfate and we have water in this container so even if you don't finish the one you have you can keep it doesn't spoil you use it for the next production this is my pko my pancanel oil so for the purpose of this tutorial i choose the uh, formula a that is four is to two is to one formulation method so the oil quantity i need for this particular one i want to make is one liter this is 500 ml and this other one is 500 ml so both are one liter then the caustic soda solution i need is half of this um, one liter remember my formulation method i choose is four is to two is to one so this is one liter the caustic soda solution i need is half of four which is um which is this is one liter so half of it will be 500 ml that is half liter so i need to check my chemical reading at um, 1275 then for the soda ash i need half of my caustic soda solution and half of 500 ml is 250 ml and i need to check it at 1250 that is 1250 sodium silicate that i need is one over six unit remember my one unit for the soda ash that i'm using is 250 so over six is 41.6 mil and i've measured it so in here is my sodium silicate this is how sodium silicate is well, uh, somehow cloudy liquid so I've taken the one I need for 1.6 ml of sodium silicate. This is my mixing bucket. This is my turning stick. And these are my modes. This is improvised mode. 
provides mode so if you have wooden mode if you have silicon mode if you don't have you can improvise this is my stick blender so and this is my glove you have your goggle and your nose or face mask so the first thing to do is to put on your hand glove protect yourself from the harmful effects of chemicals don't allow the chemicals to touch your body or your skin then the next thing to do is to arrange your modes you can see my mode arrange your mode then you get your mixing bucket stick blender turning stick everything ready gently pour your oil this is my oil i make use of one liter oil pour it inside the mixing bucket then if you want to add color to your soap make sure the color is oil based color oil based color the color that can dissolve in oil you tell your chemical seller that you want to buy the color for making soap or oil based color so add like a pinch inside your oil and dissolve first make sure they dissolve to avoid the lumps then the next thing to add inside your oil is your fragrance i did not show you my fragrance this is my fragrance this is cool river fragrance so you add 30 ml to 50 ml of your fragrance inside your oil and stir sometimes i add my fragrance the last why sometimes i add it inside my oil adding it inside my oil also help prevent soap separation sometimes soap do separate inside the mold so to help prevent this because of the effect of the fragrance you are using sometimes you add inside your oil and stir but mind you you do fasten trays so you have to be very fast then the next thing to do if you have not done so is to take your chemical reading soda ash and your uh, life solution so i've taken my chemical reading for soda ash and it's giving me exactly um one two five zero my camera oh one two five zero so i will just pour the quantity i need i need 250 mil for this particular production remember i'm following four is to two is to one had it been is four is to two is to two that means i will not use this bottle i will use 500 mil bottle So my soda ash quantity I need is 250 ml. So I want to take the right measurement. 250. So this is exactly 250 ml that I need for soda ash chemical solution. So the rest I'll pour it back in my container. And keep it for another production. So I want to take my chemical reading for caustic soda now. That one is 1275. So the quantity I need is 500 ml. So this is my caustic soda solution. You can see it at one two seven five one two seven five exactly please friends i want you to subscribe to my youtube channel please like my videos you can see i teach everything i know from the scratch please subscribe to my channel like my video so that youtube can recommend these videos to people that need it please yes subscribe now yes now
please thank you so if you follow the formula correctly your caustic soda solution and your soda ash solution do come out exactly when you read it on with the hydrometer like this one nice one two seven five why this one was one two five zero so in case your reading is below add more water and if it's above add more chemical so for caustic soda if it's above add more caustic soda powder to the solution but if it's below add more water to neutralize it just go through your lesson guide everything is there let me on generator to start the soap proper so pouring my pko inside my mixing bucket the next thing to add is your color if you are using color but i don't want to use color i don't want to add color after color you add your fragrance like i said this is cool river fragrance Start to mix. So the next thing to add now is my soda ash solution. The quantity I need this is my soda ash solution. I have to pour and mix. Then after that, I pour my caustic soda solution and my sodium silicate. This is the sodium silicate, the quantity I need. And stick blend till trace. Be very fast because this is hard oils hope you've arranged your mood all right let me pour and stir add your silicate and stick blend so trace make sure you stir everything very well They have reached trace. You know this is hard oil and added chemicals. So pour inside your mold. Pour inside your mold immediately. This is medium trace. So I finish putting them inside the mold. Make sure you tap the mold. Tap your mold so that this thing will mold very well. So remove trapped air. So cut immediately the thing hardening a bit. Or mold and cut immediately it hardens a bit like this just place the uh, the soap where it will be getting breeze or under fan or ac so that you can unmold it two hours later don't allow it to harden so much that you cannot cut it or the cutting will be making it to crumble or scatter thank you so much for watching i am betty